one of the issues that I've seen, um, not just and not just people, you know, these are pe- you know people I've spoken to. This is people I follow on Twitter. Again, I follow people on the left and the right. I follow um, people, you know, kind of big big time accounts and smaller accounts, um, and, and just people. And obviously, the dialogues I've had with people, um, it surprises me that people will create their. Well, it doesn't surprise me, but people, uh, and I want to I want to warn you about this. People will create their own reality. People will only focus. They'll only focus or only s- only uh, talk about the the peaceful protesting, or they'll only t- talk about the violence and the looting, um, uh, and 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 the riots and the damage destruction. Um, people will people will boil the boil the issue down so that they they can make it very simple and don't have to talk about the no- they, they don't have to talk about the um, uh, the intricacies of it. It's very easy to say, oh look, uh, there's all this violence. Boom, done. Okay, then you don't have to think about it. Or or. In the vast majority, as Obama said, the vast majority are peaceful protesting. But it's also easy to just say, "Oh, it's all peaceful. It's all worth it." Well, let's let's take it. Let's take a stand when people are throwing bricks through uh, through windows. Let's 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 take a stand there because that's not wha- that's not going to help the movement. Again, I always think about who's the person who's the person on the edge that's that 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 isn't quite sure about um, uh, isn't quite sure on, on, on some of this stuff. If you, them seeing images of violence is not going to help. It's going to give the side that doesn't want to help progress, it's going to give them ammunition because that's all they talk about. I follow people on the right, and this isn't all people on the right, but I follow people people on the right, and they use the images. They're constantly just talking about the images of the violence, and that's part of the problem um, with you can create any narrative you want in this world. With, with Everyone's got a cell phone. Everyone's got a video. You can find 30 instances a fucking every 10 minutes of videos being posted. You can find 30 instances of, of, of police force, overuse of force. You can find uh, a ton of instances of peaceful protest. You can find a ton of instances of violence. And it's very easy to then just, boom, chop up a two-minute video montage of only violence or only peaceful protest or only police uh, brutality. It's very easy to do that. So in, in, I remind you, when you look at a video, think of this. And it's very v- videos cause very visceral reactions. It's a specific point in time at a specific place place for sp- for a specific amount of time okay so th- videos are not representative of everything that is going on it's important to take a step back like on a- and also you know if it bleeds it leads a lot of the time things people focus on the most things i'm seeing that i'm reading about is focusing on the violence it's much less much less interesting to show people peaceful peacefully protesting so i encourage you to think about the issues that way um, and also to just be be mindful of Again, I always think about how can we, what's the best, what's the best way we can push progress for? What's the best way we can convince other people to, to be on the side of this movement? And it's not by, by supporting violence, okay? It's not by doing that. You just think about the person on the middle. The person on the middle is not going to be swayed, is not going to be swayed by violence. And as Obama said, this, uh, this violence um, uh, can come from, I forgot the exact quote, but it can come from, le- you know, a legitimate, le- legitimate frustration. Genuine anger is the phrase he used. Genuine anger, and absolutely, and I could never possibly, and I could never possibly understand that anger. Um, I can hold space. I can understand a piece of it, but uh, but given given my position, I can never fully fully understand it. So I'm not going to pretend that I, it, it's very easy to say, oh, just don't be violent. Why you? No, no, no. Well, I, you know, I get it. As Obama said, there's genuine anger here. But think of. Think of think of the other side. It's not going to help. You know, it's not going to help. It's not going to help the cause. It's not going to help the case. So think of it that way. Um, uh, so I encourage you to don't just think about. Uh, don't just focus on one. Focus on one narrative. Don't just don't just look at one version of what is happening. The reality is there's a whole bunch of different things happening. And yes, the vast majority is peaceful protest. Of course, you're not seeing thousands of people mobbing a city. You're not. You are seeing little small groups do that. You're not seeing thousands of people just sh- the mobs you're seeing. I mean, the big groups of people are peacefully protesting. Um, but I encourage I encourage those of you that are supporting uh, supporting the protest, which I do. I encourage you also to understand the other side um, and understand that when um, y- understand the other side so that you can better argue it. At least understand what's going on. At least make yourself um, aware of some of the things that the other side is po- is poking at. And one of the things they're poking at is their point their point of the violence. Um, and they're using that as a crutch. They're using that as a defense to not have to talk about the real issues here. And uh, again, I think violence, uh, I'm, not, I'm not endorsing it for a second. I think it detracts from the movement, as Obama said. But, but under, understand that the other side is using that um, uh, as, as ammo against the movement.